Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. Somebody asked me a question why I don't trim something instead of smart filling it. So I'm going to show you both ways and, and you could pick, I think, my ways a little bit faster. If you can see, we got a polygon with six sides. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and while holding down the shift key, bring this in. Okay. If you look, this is two objects. Now, the way I do it, let me see what my nudge factor is. 20 inches, which is great. I take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. And by doing that, even if I left click, right click, it is one, one curve. It's all connected. The viewer subscriber asked me why I don't trim with the weld tool. If you select all this and your weld tool comes up and you go to trim, it works, but you have to remove part of the trim. Now these are all connected and you can kind of prove that because you don't have to fill it in with the smart fill tool. You can just left click an outline. Now, if you did it before you trimmed, so we've got this item and it's not trimmed yet. If we select it and fill it in, it's going to fill in both, both items, basically. So that's why you need to go to trim. The reason I don't use trim is I don't want to have to remove that box. It is, it is, it's got its reason. It's got its um, points and you could use it sometimes. Just remember when you trim something out, uh, and this is the reason you would want this and people might be asking, um, if you were going to do something with it and uh, use this and not use the outlines, you're using the solid inside, no matter if it has no outline and you, um, well, if I can't get rid of the outline on that, there we go. See, that has no outlines. If I make it yellow, you can kind of prove it. It does have boxes, but it doesn't have an outline. The outlines are none. So I actually still prefer Smart Fill. Smart Fill, the whole reason Smart Fill existed is to create a new object. Like if we take this, and it's still a polygon, but if we go to uh, convert it to a curve, and then we can change these nodes individually, and if we take the Smart Fill tool, we have created a new object. And it's all one curve. And you can left click and right click and use it for what you want. And then you could still go back and change your other one. Anyway, I hope that answered well. I appreciate him suggesting that. But it's just, and I just got so used early on to use the Smart Fill tool. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.